Welcome to the 2017 NCHA World Finals. I'm here with the winner of the $25,000 Novice Non-Pro, Tyler DeLang, who rode, rode Lewis the Cat. Congratulations thank to you, Tyler. You, thank you, thank you. Take us through your rounds here, your go rounds. Um, so yesterday I marked a 227, and uh, me, my grandpa Rick Dubay, um, Casey, Ben, and Galen Wells, uh, we all kind of had a plan going in on what cows to cut. Um, my first cow was, was good. Uh, didn't really worry me at all. Uh, my second cow, I think we planned to cut it. She kind of rolled up on the outside a little bit and uh, shaped up real good for me. And uh, my third cow, I was, I think I turned around with about 50 seconds to go, so I just wanted to take my time in the herd and uh, be, sm you know, smooth and patient. And um, so I kind of, I kind of went to the back fence, came out, turned around, and uh, I was going for a cherry red, but she kind of didn't shape up real well. So Casey said, "Stay black." and she kind of came around this outside and was real good, and I dropped down with about 28 seconds to go, and Lewis just held it there. He just did his job. Okay. What is it like to compete in the water arena? It's great. This is my first time here, and I really like the arena. Um, you know, my horse likes it, and ground was good, and no, no complaints. Now, as you say, it's the first time you've um, hit the road and competed for the World Finals. To take it out, how does that feel? It feels great. I had a great year. Uh, first couple months, I started off a little bit rough. Um, but after Jackson, actually, that was kind of my turning point in the year, and uh, we just didn't quit from there, and I had a, you know, a lot of fun all year. Well, you finished up the year before you um, came to the finals, 20,000 ahead. That's a pretty strong lead. How did that affect the way or, or, or the, you know, your game plan for the, the finals? Well, the last three months, actually, we were, ar we were already in the lead quite a bit, both me and Casey. And uh, so the last three months were just kind of fun, showing our horse he stayed real healthy, and he, he loves it. Um, and then coming here, we just wanted to keep doing the same thing, just, you know, stick to the basics and just, just have a good time. Okay, now this horse is obviously rather remarkable because he's won the non-pro and in the same event, the, the Open, with, with Casey. Um, tell us, about, how did you, firstly, how did you come across this horse? Uh, my mom, Amy DeLang, and my grandfather, Rick Dubay, um, they came down here for the uh, sale that's coming up, you know, and uh, we, we bought him there. And um, my mom has a real good eye for horses, and, and, she, and I just trusted her. And the first time I showed him, I marked a four on him, and uh, I just kind of fell in love with him there. He, he still holds a very special spot in my heart. So. And was it always this horse, or did you have some other horses on the road that you also no, competed just, on? Just him. Just him all year. So that's quite an amazing feat. That's a lot of competitions and shows and hauling. How did you keep him sound? Well, so he walked in the herd between 290 and 300 times this, this, just this year between me and Casey. And um, we just kind of let him be a horse and just, just let him do his job. So, so what's, what's happening next year for you? We don't know yet. We're going to see how the first of the year starts, open a non-pro. Um, but after that, we're just going to go from there and take it day by day. So what's your advice for somebody who wants to go hauling for the World go Finals? Do go do it. Uh, don't, don't stop at anything. Just keep going and having a good time. Thank you for joining us.